good morning everyone the lord bless you as you have come into his presence this morning let us give him thanks this morning the bible says, praise ye the lord praise god in his sanctuary praise him in the firmament of power our immortal invisible god the great father of glory let us give him praise this morning father lord we thank you we thank you, Lord, for you are gracious and you are merciful. You are slow to hunger and abundant in loving kindness. Oh, glorious Father, immortal God, we thank you. For we know that all things work together for good to those who love you and are called according to your purpose, our Father and our God. Father of glory, we thank you for your word is the meek that feed us. Father, we thank you this morning for your word is the bread that nourishes us. Oh, Father, we thank you. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your word is a lamp that shows us the way. Thank you, Father, immortal, invisible God. We thank you, Lord, for the angels adore you, all varying their sight. Lord, with Lord, we render our praise to you, Lord, this morning. We say thank you, Lord, for your word is magnified. Thank you, Lord, for your word is a great treasure. Lord, our God, we thank you for your word is settled in heaven. Hallelujah be to your name this morning. Lord Jesus, we thank you for giving us your church, for giving us the apostles to perfect us. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that for giving us your church, the prophet to perfect us. Thank you, Lord, for the wonderful gift of praise. Lord, our God, we thank you for all the way that you have intervened in our affairs. Thank you, Father, for your divine plan for our life, for our family. Oh, gracious Father, immortal, invisible God, this morning we give you praise, for we know you will never leave us nor forsake us. Thank you, mighty Father, because you are the one that lifts us up when we fall. Thank you, Lord, for keeping us in perfect peace. Oh, hallelujah be to your name, O oh Lord. Thank you, Father, for protecting us from the snare of the fowler and from nonsense pestilence. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for giving your angels charge over us, for fighting or for us against our adversary. Hallelujah be to your name, O oh Lord, for making us to be more than a conqueror. Lord, we thank you. Glory, honor, and power be unto you this morning. Thank you, Father, for supplying all our needs according to your riches in glory. Thank you, Father, Lord, for we are able to come into your presence. In your presence, there are pleasures forevermore. Thank you, mighty Father. Lord our God, as we come this morning, let us confess our sin because our God is immortal, a holy God, the only wise God this morning. Let us confess that, Father, will there be anything in my life that will not make me to be a recipient of your goodness, of your grace this morning? Please, Father God, forgive me. Any legal ground that the enemy may have against me this morning, Lord, I plead the blood of Jesus. Lord, I ask that you forgive me. Let us ask for forgiveness this morning. That our Lord and our Father, Lord, gracious Father, we come before you. We acknowledge our weaknesses, our before you and you alone. We ask, O oh Lord, that you will forgive us, O oh Lord. Forgive us of our jealousy of those who are whose lot are easier we think their lot are easier than us father lord forgive us for our habit of falsehood forgive us lord of our dishonesty oh gracious father forgive us for any evil thought that we have allowed to pass through our mind and we have entertained it lord forgive us oh lord this morning we pray father lord Lord, that you have mercy upon us. Have mercy, Father. Drown our transgression in the sea of your love in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, mighty Father, for the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Lord, we plead the blood of Jesus. Let us begin to plead the blood of Jesus. Because the word of God say, they overcame me by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they love not their life unto death. Let us thank the Lord this morning for the power in the blood of Jesus. It was because through this blood, we have access to the true room this morning. 
prayed in the name of Jesus, Lord, I come, not in my own righteousness, but in the righteousness that has been put upon me through my faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, your son, and through the blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary, I ask, O oh Lord, that you will forgive me. I stand on the ground of the blood of Jesus to proclaim victory over sin in the name of Jesus Christ. Declare this morning that this is why you are stand. This is why, O oh Lord, I can stand, O oh Lord. I stand on the ground of the blood of Jesus Christ to proclaim victory over sin in the name of Jesus. I apply the blood of Jesus to every stubborn problem in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, mighty Father, your word said they overcame by the blood of the Lamb. I apply the blood of Jesus to every stubborn problem in my life, to every stubborn problem in the life of my loved ones this morning. I apply the blood of Jesus Christ. I plead the blood of Jesus upon my body from the top of my head to the sole of my of my feet this morning i plead the blood of jesus christ i plead the blood of jesus i plead the blood of jesus i soak my life in the blood of jesus christ i soak my life in the blood of jesus i soak my children's life in the blood of jesus i soak my loved one's life in the blood of jesus christ it is the blood this morning lord let the blood speak on my behalf this morning, let it speak against every evil power that is guiding up around me, against me this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray this morning that in the name of Jesus, I paralyze all satanic oppressors delegated against me with the blood of Jesus Christ. I paralyze all satanic oppressors delegated against me, against my family. This morning, I paralyze them in the name of Jesus Christ. I hold the blood of Jesus as a shield against any power that is already poised to resist me this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. In this prayer platform, I hold the blood of Jesus as a shield against any power that is already poised that has come to resist me, to hinder me this morning. I hold the blood of Jesus against such power in the name of Jesus Pray this morning that, Father, let the power of the blood of Jesus be released on my behalf and let it speak against every dead bone in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, O oh Lord, my Father, there is power mighty in the blood, the blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary. Let the power of the blood of Jesus Christ be released on my behalf, be released on behalf of my children, and let it speak against every dead bone in my life, every dead bone in the life of my children this morning. O oh Lord, our Father, let the power of the blood of Jesus be released and let it speak against every dead bone in our life, in the life of our loved one today, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Begin to plead the blood of Jesus Christ now. Say, I plead the blood of Jesus. 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 I plead the blood of Jesus this morning. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Pray this morning that I every satanic claim over my life be dissolved in the name of Jesus. Every satanic claim over my life, over my children's life, be dissolved. Be dissolved in the mighty name of Jesus. Every satanic claim over my life, over my children's life, in the name of Jesus, be dissolved. Be dissolved in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. In the name of Jesus. Terminate of power. Hear the word of the Lord. I terminate you now in the name of Jesus. Terminate of power. Hear the word of the Lord. I terminate you. I terminate you in the name of Jesus. In my life, in my family, I terminate you. Every terminate of power. Hear the word of the Lord this morning. I terminate you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Let us tell our Father this morning that my Father, Today, O oh Lord, perfect everything 
concerning me and my family in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, mighty Father, you are the perfecter of our faith. Lord, today, perfect everything concerning me and my family in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, this morning, Lord, I pray thee, Father God, that you will perfect everything concerning me, everything concerning my family in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name. Amen. Pray that every evil veil on my face receive fire, born to ashes in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil veil on my face receive fire, born to ashes in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil veil on my face receive the fire of God, born to ashes in the name of Jesus. I wash my face with the blood of Jesus Christ. I wash my face with the blood of Jesus. I wash my face with the blood of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray this morning that, Lord, my Father, this morning, let it be known that you are God. You are the Lord in the name of Jesus. Let every association cancel every word of the enemy against my family. Fear woefully in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, my Father, today, oh, Lord, I pray, let every cancel, every association, every cancel, every word of the enemy against me, against my my family, let it fail woefully in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, by my God, by your mercy this morning, Lord, let every association, every counsel, every word of the enemies against my life, against my children's life, fail woefully. Let it fail woefully in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, Amen. Let us ask the Lord this morning that mighty Father God arise, manifest. As a mighty God in my life, in the name of Jesus Christ, as a mighty one this morning, manifest, O Lord, manifest your power, immortal, invisible God, the only wise God this morning. Arise, O Lord, manifest yourself in my life, in the name of Jesus Christ, manifest yourself in my children's life today, O Lord, our God, manifest your power, manifest your power, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus in Jesus' name, Amen. Psalm 89 verse 9 says, You rule over the surging sea. When it's wave mount up, you still dead. Pray this morning that, O oh Lord, mighty Father, rule over every surging sea in my life. Every wave, O oh Lord, steal them this morning. Lord God Almighty, your words say you rule over the surging sea. And when his wave mount up, you steal them. So, Father God, this morning, rule over every surging sea in my life. Rule over, Lord, steal every wave that is mounting up against me. Every wave mounting up against my family. Lord God Almighty, let them be still this morning. Let them hear your voice this morning. Oh, Lord, our Father, speak, oh, Lord, to the wave this morning. In my life, in the life of my loved ones, in the name of Jesus Christ, this morning, Pray that in the name of Jesus Christ, I call for the blood of Jesus to speak against my real spirit and which cast spirit in my life and my family in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, I call for the blood of Jesus to speak against my real spirit and every which cast spirit this morning against my life, against my family. I call for the blood of Jesus to speak against my real spirit and which cast spirit against my life, against my family. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that I am delivered from every water spirit assigned against to attack me, to oppress and deceive me. In the name of Jesus, I declare that I am delivered. I and my family are delivered from every water spirit assigned to attack, to oppress and deceive me. I am delivered. I am delivered because the word of God tells us in this psalm that we just read, Psalm 89, the Lord reign over the sea, over the raging sea, over and still the wave this morning, every wave in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that I am delivered from every water spirit assigned to attack, 
to oppress and deceive me in the name of Jesus. I declare that my children are delivered from every water spirit assigned to attack, to oppress and deceive my children this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Because the word of God says that the Lord rule over the raging sea this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I believe the word of God and I take the word of God as it is, as it is written this morning, that the Lord reign, the Lord rule over the raging sea this morning. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare this morning that in the name of Jesus Christ, <clears throat> I rebook and I bind the demonic forces of Leviathans, of Pythons, of man-made spirits, and any other aquatic demons strategizing and fighting against the plan and purpose of God for my life, for my family, for my environment, in the name of Jesus. I pray this morning that in the name of Jesus, for the Lord our God, you rule over the surging sea, and when it's with man top, you stay them. Therefore, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I rebook and I bind the demonic forces of Leviathans, of Pythons, of man-made spirits, and other aquatic demons strategizing and fighting against the plan of God and purpose of God for my life, for my family, and for my environment. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command them to be silenced and cast into their abyss. In the name of Jesus Christ, O Lord our Father, in the name of Jesus, because you are the Lord, that you reign over the raging sea. Lord, this morning, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, silence them. Silence them, every python spirit, every man-made spirit this morning, every leviathan spirit this morning, in the name of Jesus Christ, all the demonic forces this morning, Lord our God, silence them, silence them in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. Thank you, our Lord and our God, for the victory that we have in the long in the Lord Jesus Christ, for we overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. Lord, we praise you this morning. Hallelujah be to your name this morning. Glory, honor, and power be unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. This morning, before we continue our prayer, before we go to the spiritual warfare prayer, let us look at the futility of regrets. The futility of regret. We always, once we praise the Lord, when we want to confess our sin, I know I always quote this verse to us. First John chapter 1, verse 9. It says, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Confession. Confession is supposed to free us to enjoy fellowship with Christ. It should ease our consciences and lighten our cares. But do you know, some Christians do not understand how it works. They feel so guilty that they confess the same sins over and over. Then they wonder if they might have forgotten something. Others, other Christians believe that God forgives them when they confess, but if they died with unconfessed sin, they will be lost forever. These Christians do not understand that God wants to forgive us. He allows his beloved son to die just so he could offer us pardon. When we come to Christ, yes, he forgives us all the sins we have committed or that we ever commit. We don't need to confess the sins of the past all over again. And we don't need to fear that God will reject us. If we don't keep our slate perfectly clean, of course we should continue to confess our sin. 
but not because failure to do so will make us lose our salvation. Mm -mm. Our relationship with Christ is secure. Instead, we should confess so that we can enjoy maximum, maximum fellowship and joy with Him. True confession. Let us hear this. True confession also involves a commitment not to continue in sin. We won't be genuinely confessing our sin to God if we plan to commit them again and just wanted temporary forgiveness. Whom are we deceiving? It's ourselves. We should also pray for strength to defeat temptation the next time we face it. If God has forgiven us for our sin because of Christ's death, why must we confess our sins? Then somebody may ask that question. You see, in admitting our sins and receiving Christ's cleansing, we are first of all agreeing with God that our sin truly is sin and that we are willing to turn from it. You, we must turn from it. Then number two, it ensures that we don't conceal our sin from him and consequently from ourselves. And the third one is that recognizing our tendency to sin and relying on his power to overcome it. The question to us this morning, is there anything in your life that brings you shame? Are there any memories or choices you have made that you hide from others because of how much they embarrass you? Perhaps you've tried to run from those things, but time has not healed you. You still feel the disgrace, the biting feelings of regret, and our worthiness won't go away. Some of us we carry this, you know, to the to our relationship, to everything we do. My brothers and my sister, God never intended for you to live this way. When He forgives you, He does so in a manner that takes away your sin, take away your terrible shame forever. Psalm one o three. If you have your Bible, turn with me to Psalm 103 this morning. Let us see what it says. Psalm 103 verse 12. It says this. As far as the east is from the west, so far as it removed our transgressions from us. Sin is no longer part of who you are. That is why I always, when somebody wants to describe, they say, oh, say, oh, we are all sinners. No, not me. I was a sinner, but I have been forgiven. I have been redeemed. I'm a new person. It's what you describe yourself. That is what you become. Do you know that? If you say you are a sinner, you will still continue in sin. But if you see yourself that you have been redeemed, you are a new person, you will no longer be, be, be comfortable with those sins in your life. You will be able to come to God and cry out to God as, Lord, I need help in this area. Sin is no longer part of who you are. You are clean. You are redeemed. A person who is loved and valued. So don't get stuck in the past. Don't allow memories of your failures to keep you from what your Heavenly Father created you to do. Ask God to pardon you. Then forgive yourself and embrace your true identity in Christ. Forgive yourself, embrace your true identity in Christ. 
if you know whom you are in Christ Jesus, oh, my dear sisters and brothers, you will not allow anyone or anything to bother you. You will lift your head high and you will walk majestically. Not in pride, but with that confidence in you. There is something that will be so confident in you when you know whom you are. But if you see yourself as a sinner, then um, before they say go, you are you are ready, you are on, on the second lane. Hmm? Because oh, everybody is a sinner. No, Christ died. So as we go out today, as we begin our day today, let us walk in the newness of whom we are. Redeemed, forgiven. Don't let sin, uh, Satan keep us say, "Oh, you are a sinner. You are a sinner." He knows whom you are more than you do. So this morning, forgive yourself, embrace your true identity in Christ Jesus. You are forgiven, you are cleansed, and you are a powerful vessel of His grace. This morning, let us thank Him. Thank the Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your forgiveness. We thank you for your forgiveness and for your grace. We can move forward with no regret because you, our Savior, make us new. Oh, glory, hallelujah, be to your name this morning. Lord Jesus, we thank you this morning. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your forgiveness that we receive. Lord, we thank you for whom we are in Christ Jesus this morning. Oh, glory, hallelujah, be to your name this morning, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for whom you, what we are, what you have made us to be. Thank you, mighty Father. Oh, Lord Jesus, this morning, let us declare what we are in Christ Jesus this morning, that I am called in Christ. Hallelujah. This morning, I am called in Christ. I have redemption in Christ Jesus this morning. I have redemption in Christ, in the name of Jesus. I reign in life by Christ. Make that declaration to yourself this morning. That is who you are this morning, your true identity. I'm alive unto God through Christ Jesus. I'm alive unto God through Christ Jesus. I have eternal life through Christ. I'm a joint here with Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm a joint here with Christ Jesus. I am sanctified in Christ. I am sanctified in Christ. My body is a member of Christ. My body is a member of Christ. I have victory through Christ Jesus. I have victory through Christ Jesus and I triumph in Christ. Lord, we thank you this morning because we triumph in Christ. Declare this morning, I'm a new creature in Christ Jesus. All things are passed away. All things become new this morning. I'm a new creature in Christ Jesus. I am the righteousness of God in Christ. Hallelujah. I am the righteousness of God in Christ. I'm not a sinner. I'm be redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ. I am the righteousness of God in Christ. I have liberty, freedom in Christ Jesus. I'm no longer a slave. I have liberty. I have freedom in Christ Jesus. This morning, I am crucified with Christ. I am crucified with Christ. I put on Christ. The life I live now, I live by the grace of God in Christ Jesus. I am an heir of God through Christ Jesus. Declare to yourself this morning. Confidently tell yourself this morning, I am an heir of God through Christ Jesus. I have been blessed with spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. This morning, I have been blessed with spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. I have been chosen in Christ before the foundation of the world that I should be holy and without blame before him. Hallelujah. I have been chosen in Christ before the foundation of the world that I should be holy and without blame before him. 
Glory be to your name, Lord, this morning. Father, Lord, we thank you this morning. Thank you for what you have made us to become in Christ Jesus this morning. I thank you, Father. Thank the Lord this morning. Give him praise this morning. That, Father, I thank you. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And like the psalmist says in Psalm 27, that the Lord is my light. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Who shall I fear this morning? I want us to declare this morning. The Lord is the, my light and my salvation. Who shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Verse 2 says, When the wicked advance against me to devour me, it is my enemies and my foes who will stumble and fall. This morning, pray in the name of Jesus. I arrest any serpent of infirmity troubling my body in the name of Jesus. Guys, we just declare that my body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, I arrest any serpent of infirmity troubling my body in the mighty name of jesus christ this morning we're going to cry against every eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood in the name of jesus because that verse you said when the wicked advance against me to devour to eat of my flesh it is my enemies and my foes who will stumble and fall this morning according to the word of the lord pray this morning that I cut off the, all the tentacles of eternal disease spreading in my body. I cut it off this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I cut off the tentacles of eternal disease spreading in my body this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, I cut off every tentacles of eternal disease spreading in my body in the name of Jesus because this body is the temple of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Let us pray this morning. The power base of infirmity. Dry up and die in the mighty name of Jesus. Power base of infirmity. Dry up and die in the mighty name of Jesus. Power base of infirmity in my family. Dry up and die in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. This morning the word of God said when the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumble and fall. This morning, pray. Earth arrest us. Be arrested in the name of Jesus Christ. Health arrest us. Be arrested by fire in the name of Jesus. Health arrest us. Be arrested. Be arrested. Be arrested in the name of Jesus Christ. If you read that psalm very well, it said, When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, <laughs> and they stumbled and fall. This morning, earth arrest us. Be arrested in the life of my children. Be arrested. Be arrested in my family. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray this morning that Holy Ghost fire melt away every infirmity in my body organs. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire melt away every infirmity in my body organs. Melt it away. Melt it away. In the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire melt away every infirmity in my body organs, in the organs of my body. If you know anyone that is sick this morning, let us lift our voice and cry out for them this morning. That Holy Ghost fire, this morning we're asking you to visit our loved ones that are sick and that you will melt away every infirmity, every eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood this morning. Holy Ghost fire, let your fire burn them in the name of Jesus Christ. They pray this morning 
I fire back every arrow of affliction tormenting my body in the name of Jesus Christ. I fire back every arrow of affliction tormenting my body. I fire it back this morning. I fire it back this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Let us pray that the battle of the terrible and the mighty against my head expire in the name of Jesus. The battle of the terrible and the mighty against my head expire, expire in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father, the battle of the terrible and the mighty against my head, against the head of my loved one this morning, let it expire, Lord. Let it expire in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name. Amen. Cry out that thou great physician Jesus Christ, heal me now in the name of Jesus. Thou great physician Jesus Christ, heal me now. Heal me now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. You know we are talking about the futility of regret. Some of us, because of the past sin, we allow depression to come in because we will not forgive ourselves. We will not embrace the forgiveness that we have in the Lord Jesus Christ. So pray this morning that the bad of the terrible and the mighty against my head to expire. Let that great physician hear me now in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name. Amen. Yoke of infirmity, break to pieces in the name of Jesus Christ. Yoke of infirmity, break to pieces in my life, in my family. Break to pieces in the name of Jesus. Every yoke of infirmity in this family, break in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Authority of infirmity and scorpion over my life. Terminate in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Authority of infirmity and scorpions over my life. Terminate in the name of Jesus. Pray this morning that every authority, any of a scorpion over my life, terminate in Jesus' name. Let the blood of Jesus cleanse every part of my body this morning in the name of jesus christ in the mighty name of jesus pray this morning that eaters of flesh are signed against me fall down and die in the name of jesus because the word of god said this morning when the wicked even my enemies and my foes came upon me to eat up my flesh they stumbled and fell in the name of jesus i pray this morning that eaters of flesh are signed against me fall down and die in the name of Jesus Christ, eat us of flesh a sign against my children. Fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, sanitize my body and make me whole in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, sanitize my body and make me whole in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray this morning that every cell in my body hear the word of the Lord. Reject evil commands in the name of Jesus. Every cell in my body, reject Hear the word of the Lord. Reject evil command this morning. Reject evil command this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. I charge my body with the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, I charge my body with the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ, I charge my body with the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray this morning that the Holy Ghost incubates my life. Holy Ghost incubates my life. Holy Ghost incubates my life in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the love of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, who came to set us free. Lord, accept our thanks this morning. Thank you, mighty Father. Lord, we ask you, will there be any sin in our life that will not allow your Holy Spirit to dwell in our our life this morning. We ask for forgiveness, oh Lord. We need the fresh anointing this morning. We need the fresh feeling of your Holy Spirit in our life this morning. In the name of Jesus, pray this morning that blessed Holy Spirit fill my life afresh. In the name of Jesus, blessed Holy Spirit, you know he's the one here with us on earth. 
is the one is our helper is our comforter is our counselor this morning ask the holy spirit holy spirit fill my life afresh in the name of jesus holy spirit fill my life afresh come into my life come into my family come and do your work this morning in the mighty name of jesus blessed holy spirit possess my life and manifest the work of pentecost in me in the name of jesus pray this morning blessed holy spirit Spirit, possess my life and manifest the work of Pentecost in me in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, blessed Holy Spirit, possess my life this morning and manifest the work of the Pentecost in me in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit divine, you are the third person of the Godhead. Teach me to work with you, to talk with you, rely on you and learn from you daily in the name of Jesus. Let us ask him this morning. Oh, blessed Holy Spirit divine, you are the third person of the Godhead. Teach me to walk with you. Teach me to talk with you. Teach me to rely on you and to learn from you daily, 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 every minute, every hour in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray this morning that blessed Holy Spirit empower me to live in obedience to your directions daily in the name of Jesus Christ. Blessed Holy Spirit empower me to live in obedience to your direction daily in the mighty name of Jesus. Empower me this morning. Holy Spirit, give me hearing. Hearing ears to listen to the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Pray this morning that my Father, my Lord, give me hearing ears to listen to the Holy Spirit at all times in the name of Jesus Christ. As He guide me, as He give me instruction, as He say, This is the way, whisper to my ears, Lord, let my ears be open in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, Amen. Pray this morning, Holy Spirit. Strengthen me so that I do not go weary in the journey of life in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, strengthen me so that I do not go weary in the journey of life. Strengthen me, empower me this morning. Holy Spirit divine, empower me, strengthen us in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. You know, it's the spirit of truth that will reveal all truth to us this morning. Pray this morning that blessed Holy Spirit unveil the works of darkness and expose every hidden sin in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Blessed Holy Spirit this morning, unveil the works of darkness and expose every hidden sin in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Blessed Holy Spirit, and unveil the works of darkness and expose every hidden sin in my life in the name of Jesus. Pray this morning, blessed Holy Spirit, perfect the will of God in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, blessed Holy Spirit, perfect the will of God in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. This morning, as we go, let us take this word with us. First Thessalonians 4 5 say, For our gospel came not unto you in word only, but also in power and in the Holy Ghost. And in much assurance, as you know what manner of men we were among you for your sake. Let us pray this morning. Blessed Holy Spirit, show me the necessity of doing the will of my heavenly father in the name of jesus blessed holy spirit show me the necessity of doing the will of the my heavenly father in the name of jesus christ show us O lord in the name of jesus let us begin to thank the father for answering our prayer this morning let us begin to bless our day this morning commit today into the hand of the lord it is the lord who blesses the righteous and surrounding with favor let us thank the lord this morning for the favor that he bestowed upon us because daily he loaded us with benefits. Let us thank him this morning. That my father, my God, I thank you for the blessings of today. I thank you for blessing my going out and my coming in. I thank you for my going to my place of work, to my place of business. Lord, I thank you, Father Lord, for all that I'm going to do today, for all that I'm going to accomplish today. It is by your grace, O oh Lord. Father Lord, I thank you. As I join in this morning, I will not 
journey into this. Father, Lord, I thank you for you will order my footsteps. You will order my ways, O oh Lord. You will make every crooked way smooth in the name of Jesus. Thank the Lord this morning for the blessing upon your life, upon your family. Hallelujah be to the Lord this morning. Lord, we give you all the glory, all the honor belong to you. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. This morning, our prayers still continue. Please wait for our intercessory. God bless you as you do so. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. This morning, we are interceding for the sick in the mighty name of Jesus. He is the great physician. He will heal. He will deliver in the name of Jesus. Psalm 103, verse 1 to 3 say, Bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefit. Who forgives all thy iniquities? Who heal all thy disease? In the name of Jesus, is a healer. He will heal all diseases, all iniquities. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we thank you. We thank you because you are the great physician. As we lead before you the sick among us this morning, we ask that your healing power will come down into the air, into the atmosphere, and fall upon every sick soul this morning. In the name of Jesus, let us begin to pray this morning in the name of Jesus for as many that are sick. In the name of Jesus, if there are any sin in their life, that is bringing sickness to them. Let us ask in the name of Jesus that they will be died to that sin in the name of Jesus, that that sin, we have no room, we have no place in their life in the name of Jesus, and thereby they will receive their healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus, we know that your blood of your son, Jesus Christ, came to restore. So we apply the blood of Jesus this morning to every hidden sicknesses in the life of the sick ones in the name of Jesus. And we command all this sickness to die right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, there's power mighty in the blood of Jesus. So Father, this morning, we plead that blood, we apply the blood of Jesus to all that are sick this morning, every known, every unknown sicknesses in their life, every iniquities, every infirmities. Lord, we apply the blood of Jesus this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray this morning that God will arise with his healing power and visit every sick one this morning. Be they in the hospital, be they at home, be they at care center, wherever they may be this morning. Oh, Father, Lord, we ask in the name of Jesus that you will arise with your healing power this morning. Visit every sick person this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, visit them this morning. Let them feel a touch of you this morning. Oh, lay your mighty right hand, oh Lord God, upon them this morning. In the name of Jesus, so that your virtues, O Lord God, will come upon them, O Lord God, and heal every of their disease. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us pray this morning that every altar of affliction that is assigned against the sick ones this morning, O Father, we ask in the name of Jesus, let that altar catch fire this morning and burn to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray this morning, every altar of affliction, every altar of sickness, eh, assign against the sick ones this morning. Oh, we set that altar ablaze. Eh. In the name of Jesus, let it catch fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray this morning. Any power, you know, sending negativity to the life of the sick ones this morning. Oh, we speak destruction unto them. Let them be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Any power sending negativity of sickness, of infirmity into the life of the sick one this morning. Oh, Father, Lord, we ask that such power be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, let them be destroyed suddenly this morning, this moment. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray this morning 
that every mountain of mind destruction in the name of Jesus, in the life of the sick one, you know, sickness very sad. Every mountain of mind destruction in the name of Jesus, we ask that they be rolled away this morning. Let them be rolled away in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, that sickness of mind, oh, that destroys the body. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask that this mountain of mind destruction be rolled away this morning for as many oh lord god that are disturbed in their mind in their head lord we ask that it be rolled away in the mighty name of jesus let us pray this morning that the root of affliction in the life of the sick ones, eh, the root of infirmities, eh, the root of sickness eh, will dry up this morning. In the name of Jesus, Father, we ask in the name of Jesus and we command the roots of affliction, the roots of sickness eh, in the life of the sick one to dry up this morning. Let it dry up. Eh. In the mighty name of Jesus, let it dry up. In the name of Jesus, eh, let us pray this morning, oh, that the sick ones, eh, that these ones will not die. Oh, the sickness will not kill them. They will not die, but they will live to declare the works of God eh, and his glory in their life. Eh. In the mighty name of Jesus, that this one will see the wonders of God, eh, the wonders of his healing. Eh. In the name of Jesus, eh, they will not die. In the name of Jesus, but live to declare the works of God and his glory in their life. Eh. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, that if there are any plan, any plan of sickness, eh, Oh, Father, Lord, for the life of this one, say, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come against it. Eh? In the name of Jesus, plan of sickness to destroy destiny. Oh, Father, this morning, we come against it in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us cry this morning against the spirit of fear and anxiety. Oh, for the sick ones, eh? in the name of Jesus. Oh, fear and anxiety that has crippled their faith in God. Eh? In the name of Jesus, we come against it this morning. Lord, as we leave the sick ones before you, Father Lord, eh? we cry against the spirit of fear and anxiety. Oh, a sign to cripple their faith in you, O oh Lord God. Eh? In the mighty name of Jesus, eh? oh, let that spirit of fear, that spirit of anxiety, Oh, with this sickness go away. Oh, with this sickness not go away. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, with this sickness turn to this, turn to that. Eh? They have so many fears, so many anxiety. Oh, because they want to be healed. Eh? So, Father, in the name of Jesus, eh? every spirit of fear, every spirit of anxiety. Oh, there has been a sign to cripple their faith in you. Oh, we speak to those spirits now to get out of their life right now. Now, in the name of Jesus, eh, let it get out of their life now by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, eh, oh, let us pray this morning. In the name of Jesus, eh, oh, is it has it got to do with food? Every evil food, eh, every food causing sickness eh, in the body of the sick one this morning. Oh, Father, we ask eh, that by your power, in the name of Jesus, eh, you will make them to vomit it right now. In the name of Jesus, eh, it will be vomited. Eh. In the name of Jesus, eh, oh, Father, we give you praise this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray this morning, every physical and spiritual hindrance, eh, oh, to the total wellness, eh, to the total healing eh, of the sick ones eh, this morning. Oh, let it be removed by fire. Oh, let it be removed by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, eh, oh, let us pray this morning. In the name of Jesus, that the sick ones are healed eh, by the stripes of Jesus Christ. Eh, they are healed from the strand of their head to the sole of their feet. They are healed this morning. In the name of Jesus, eh, oh, because the mighty hand of God eh, is upon them this morning. Oh, be healed. In the name of Jesus, we speak. Eh? In the name of Jesus, oh, let us pray this morning for the for the for every family member, for every caretaker taking care of the sick ones. Eh? Let us ask for the strength of the Lord upon them. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, oh, that the strength of the Lord will be upon them in the name of Jesus. That the Lord will remember these ones for good eh? in the name of Jesus. That as they are in the forefront, eh? taking care of their loved ones, eh? taking care of their sick ones, eh? that sickness will be far away from them. In the name of Jesus, that strength from above eh? will be upon these ones. Eh? In the mighty name of Jesus, that the Lord will send his word eh, to them, his word, oh Lord God, to each and every one of them, in a way they will understand it, eh? because he sent his words and he healed every of their diseases. Eh? In the name of Jesus, eh? oh, these ones will be made whole, will be made stronger. In the mighty name of Jesus, eh? let us thank God for doctors. We bless the name of the Lord for doctors, for he, he is a healer. He is a perfect healer. He is the one that walks through the hands of the doctors, through the hands of the nurses, the paramedics, everyone in the healthcare, taking care of the sick. Oh, Father, we thank you. Even the, the, the EMS said, all the ones, eh, the janitors, the one that cook for them. Oh, Father, Lord, we lift everyone, oh, Lord God, that work in the healthcare system before you this morning. Lord, we thank you for their job, especially doctors, nurses, so, oh, Lord God, eh, their various disciples. We thank you for all the knowledge you have given them, oh, Lord God, to go to school, to learn, and to be able to take care of this one. Lord, we are asking that you will walk through their hands eh, in the name of Jesus. Eh. Lord, we are asking that you continue to uphold this one eh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh. Lord, we come against spirit of mistakes eh, in the life of this ones in the name of Jesus. Eh. Lord, in the name of Jesus, eh, that when they operate, they will operate the right person, the right part in the name of Jesus. Eh. When they give medication, they will give the right medication at the right time to the right person. In the mighty name of Jesus, eh? oh, Father, we cry against, oh, Lord God, any mistake that leads to death of the patient they are taking care of. Father, we thank you this morning. Lord, we we'll bless your holy name this morning. That more than we are asking, Lord, you will do for us. Eh? In the mighty name of Jesus, oh, Father, Lord, for us, oh, Lord God, crying on behalf of the sick ones this morning. Lord, we lift ourselves before you in the name of Jesus, that no sickness will come over us. Eh? In the name of Jesus, eh? that any prayer we have prayed out of anybody this morning, oh, Father, Lord, they will go to wherever you want to send them to. Oh, but Father, Lord, we forbid them coming on us in the name of Jesus. Eh? Oh, any prayer power, oh Lord God. Oh, that may want to bounce back sickness on anyone this morning. Lord, we forbid them. Eh? In the name of Jesus, eh? we come against such power with the power in the name and the blood of Jesus. Eh? Oh, Father, we thank you this morning. We give you all the praise this morning. Thank you for what you have done. Thank you for what you continue to do in our lives in this prayer ministry. To you, Father, be all the glory. In the name of Jesus. Eh? And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, eh, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name.